Hello friends, today we are going to talk about the strong age. What is the strong age? The here the age x comma y. When will we say that the age x comma y is strong? The membership value of the age x comma y is greater than or equal to the strength of the connectivity between the vertices of that age x comma y. Already in the previous videos we covered the strength of the connectivity and the strength of the path. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. Let us consider some example. Here consider the age b comma c and check whether the age b comma c is strong or not. So given the age membership value of that age b comma c is 0.5 and next we will find the strength of the connectivity between the vertices b comma c of that age. How do we will find? First we take the all possible paths between the vertices b and c and find the strength of all those paths between the vertices b and c and finally we take the maximum strength in all. That is called the strength of the connectivity between the vertices B and C. So now we consider here, we take the all possible paths between the vertices B and C. How many paths will here B C and B D C and B A D C. So three paths here. Now we find the strength of these paths. What are the the strength of B C is 0.5 and the strength of the B D C is 0.1 and the strength of B A D C is 0.1. So now we take the maximum strength of this which one is 0.5. So here the strength of the edge B comma C is equal to the strength of the connectivity between the vertices B and C. They are same. So the condition of the strong edge is satisfied. Hence the edge B comma C is strong edge. Now the challenge comes up. If you say that the age B comma C is strong, at the same time I will remove the age in the given graph. Now check whether the age is strong or not. What will you think? Will it be strong as well as? So here I removing the age BC in the graph and already we have the possible box between B and C or 3. Now 3 minus 1. So the value 0.5 is not occur in the max maximum collection. So remaining value 0.1 and 0.1. So the maximum of 0.1 and 0.1 is 0.1. Hence also satisfy the membership value of the age BC is strictly greater than the strength of the connectivity of the vertices B and C when the age BC is removed. So finally we say that the age B comma C is strong age however the age will occur or not in the given graph. Now we take the another age A comma D. Check whether the age A comma D is strong or not. The result is the A comma D, the age A comma D is not a strong age. How is it? Check it own. You will take the all the ages in the graph to check they are strong or not. Okay. Already the previous video tells about the strength of the path and the strength of the connectivity between the vertices. Okay. Next one strong path. A path P from X to Y is called a strong path if all the edges in the given path are strong. That is the consecutive pair of vertices xi minus 1 comma xi is strong. Already we know that in a path a starting and the ending vertices are not same. So only the possibility of the strong edge is the consecutive pair of the vertices xi minus 1 comma xi. So we say that the path becomes a strong path if all the edges in the path are strong. Next one is the connected fuzzy graph. Connected fuzzy graph also like a connected graph. If we take any two vertices, we say that the vertices are connected, they are joined by a path. The same manner in the connected fuzzy graph. Next one is the complete fuzzy graph. Complete fuzzy graph is a fuzzy graph if the membership value of the edge u, v is equal to the minimum of the membership value of the vertices u and v. 